All right, everybody, a huge moment for Brickhouse Builds. This is something I have been working for for quite a while now. So this is the new workspace. So this video, we're gonna take a, take a look inside. I'll show you around. It's kind of a work in progress right now, but I see nothing but potential. And I think this is gonna be an amazing space to just kind of continue to grow from. So uh, without further ado, let's go. vinyl siding moto, whatever you want to call it. Basically, this is, uh, is going to be the new HQ, and I'm super excited. So it's a work in progress. We just finished doing the epoxy on the floors, and we've got about half of it painted right now. And we're getting real close to that move-in point, but this is going to be, I'm just so excited. I'm going to repeat it a bunch of times. I'm just super excited. I have needed a larger workspace, and I've been working towards one for the past three, four years now. And uh, the current facility, my small 12 by 18, was, was only supposed to be temporary. But just been a lot of life changes going on and it's been difficult to find a large facility. But now we have one. So I'm going to show you around. We'll kind of see what the dream is and give you an idea of the layout, what I have planned in my mind. So I originally saw this place listed online I saw the square footage, it's listed as 3,000 square feet, and I didn't really think that was gonna be enough. I was looking for something in maybe the 6,000 range. So I ended up looking at some photos of this and I saw kind of the, uh, the loft landing type setup and I figured it would actually look perfect. So I gave it a shot, I came in here and checked it out and it was just talking to me. So here's kind of the, the idea I have for the layout here. Now, my idea here, when I have a, uh, I have a big workbench that I'm going to build for this slot. And that's going to be a full like 10 feet right there. There will be another motorcycle lift here. And then my existing bench in my current shop fits perfectly right here. And then we'll have another motorcycle table. So this is going to be for kind of a like clean area. That's why this whole area up here is just nice and spick and span and whatnot. So this will be for like mock-up stuff and uh, electrical work and that kind of thing, like maintenance, stuff like that. It was just nice, clean, um, clean work up here. Over here, I think what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna get some signage up. We're gonna have maybe some furniture. This is also gonna be kind of a hangout area. Probably more bikes going up here, maybe one going along the window. And I just want to fill this place with cool signage and art, make it my own space, because I don't really have anywhere to display that stuff right now. So this is actually the bathroom. And this area right here, I'm thinking probably get my, I have a, a locker I'll put in here, and then uh, I want to get a soda machine. And uh, I have some ideas for that, so probably get a soda machine right here. Who knows, uh, I got to make it flow some, some way. But I think that would be cool. So this room right here, it's gonna be a little interesting. Just kind of a long, unused space. And previously, this was kind of like a lunch area, I had a big boardroom table. But what I'm thinking is this wall right here is where I can set up kind of a cool backdrop for photography of all the bikes, because it's really easy to roll them in right here. So I'm thinking I might get like some brick backdrop or something, cool logos, and, and this will be kind of like a photography area. Maybe I'll put like a little table in here. I gotta have something to eat on. But other than that, it's probably just gonna be bike storage. And this actually comes all the way around here. I'm learning where the light switches are. 
That was a good guess, okay. I'm thinking right here is just going to be kind of my, my riders, my motorcycle parking right here along this wall. This room right here is going to be merchandise shipping and stuff like that. So the, the uh, current table that I have downstairs in my basement fits perfectly right here. So I'll get another shelf back here and this will be for like packaging and stuff like that. So this is gonna be a nice clean organized room. We can shut the door, kind of block it off and that'd be awesome. This room, the kitchen. So I'm gonna to measure today and we are going to, uh, I have a refrigerator back here for it, but we'll just set up an, another little kitchen counter, nothing, nothing too fancy, make some sandwiches in here, whatever. I have a microwave and that'll make lunch a little bit easier. So another cool little space. I have a neat area under the stairs here. I don't know what we'll put. Something cool though. And then this is of course the bathroom. So there's two doors, you can go in the other way or through here. I'm gonna change up, I have a big stainless sink that we're up. Sorry, not a stainless sink, I have like a shop slop sink to go in here. And that's gonna be awesome. So now, I'm gonna take you upstairs. And I think this is really what makes this space. All right, so let's head upstairs. I think this is going to be kind of the whole vibe of the place once I get it all set up. So, come on. I do stairs two at a time. I do not do stairs two at a time. <laughs> Now, one of the issues that I saw with just the total square footage of this place was actually fitting everything that I have to go in here. So the fact that this has kind of this whole upstairs area as well as the room back here kind of changes the layout. So whenever I first looked at it, I stood up here and I'm like, oh man, it just was talking to me, you know? So. My, my, grand, my grand scheme is for this to be a really cool hangout area. I'd like to have events and stuff and, and host, I don't know, bike nights and movie nights and all kinds of stuff. So up here will be maybe some cool display items and uh, some tables and chairs, basically. Doesn't look very fancy right now, but how neat is it? We have this whole ledge along both of these areas. I'm gonna put some cool stuff up there, bicycles and engines and whatnot. But what I'm thinking as one of the larger plans, along the far wall, I wanna get like a gigantic retractable uh, screen and then I'll set up a projector and that's where I wanna host movie nights. So you could have kind of your mezzanine seating right here for your movie, uh, same thing over there and then we'll have seating down there. So I think that would be such a cool use of the space. Again, I just want to, I want to turn into a hangout area as well, you know, host events. So also, you know, come over here. I've mentioned that uh, I'm going to have two bike tables down here. So that makes for filming and getting some cool time-lapse shots and things like that. That'll just make it even more awesome. So this opens up a whole new uh, avenue for filming and such. So just another cool use of the space. Nothing crazy over there, it's kind of a similar area. Perfect spot for doggos, already pre-used. Yeah, yeah, the landlord has a dog. Her name is Gina, and she's a sweetheart. Um, okay. We're redoing a lot of this right now. This is going to be all of my parts storage. So all of my eBay stuff, all of the used parts, this is just gonna be nothing but shelves. Same thing over here, so this is just pure storage. And this, this room kind of makes the whole area usable. So that's the mission here. Fill it up with parts and they'll be tucked away. You won't see them. This room right here is very dim. Maximum light. <laughs> Maximum light. This room right here, I'm still debating. I don't know, it could, it would make a really good office. Um, I'm not very tall, so I'm not gonna worry about hitting my head on this. And it has this cool window that overlooks the, uh, the whole rear half of this place, which you'll see in a second. But, I don't know, if I don't make this an office, it will just be overflow part storage as well, which I think would be cool. All right. So that kind of concludes the entire front half of this place. Now let's go to the back. We're only halfway through. Picture it, we're gonna have all kinds of signage and artwork and it's gonna be, it's gonna be rad.
hubs, two doors right here, this will be shut off, and then this is the entire warehouse section. It's filled right now, so bear with me. All right, so this is about 1,500 square feet, pure warehouse. And this is gonna be where I do fabrication and stuff like that. So I, we're gonna be working around all the stuff in here right now. But I'm thinking probably back in this corner, I will set up my compressor and I'm gonna get a fab table and just this will be kind of like pure fabrication area where I can you know make more of a mess and stuff and uh, not have to worry about that. There's a hole in the wall where I can set up an exhaust fan just like I have now. And then I will run some 220 in here and hook up the welders and you know this will be a good just fabrication area, make some more noise, you know, so we're not intruding on the people next door. And then our main garage door right here. This heads obviously outside. Okay. So, coming out of the back here, we have the warehouse area. One of the biggest drawbacks of this place was it didn't have a, uh, like a drive-in dock. So if you back up, you can see I actually had to get this gigantic forklift ramp. This thing's 30 feet long. It's way too expensive. But we've already got it installed and this is gonna allow me to drive cars up and down this thing, along with bikes, obviously. See, so yeah, this was not a fun purchase to make, but it was a necessity and it's the only thing that allows me to use this space. So come on back in. If you need a ramp, call Mid-State Ramps by the Yard Ramp Guy. The Yard Ramp Guy. I'm definitely going to put an electric opener on this thing. So the ramp itself is 96 inches wide, which is like the widest one I could get for that door. Technically, my van will fit. We'll have to fold the mirrors in and stuff like that. But if I needed, I could get it through that door. Still going to be a pain in the butt. But that's what's going to be uh, what I drive cars in and out of. So the warehouse, if you guys are familiar, I'll maybe put in a clip now if I can find one. But there is a, uh, a four post drive on ramp or lift in the warehouse that will come here. Put that in the corner. So that puts two cars over here and then, you know, parking for a third or something right here, wherever it needs to be. But then the rest of this is just gonna be continued parts storage as well as motorcycles and of course the fabrication area. And if you look at the front wall here, uh, that is going to be drywall of course, so we'll put like a neutral color on it or something, I don't know. But this wall was already graffiti. And whenever we were looking at the place, uh, the landlord's like, yeah, I'm just gonna paint over it. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. This is way too cool. So I'm excited to see everything out of here and just see what this wall has to offer, but too cool to, too cool to get rid of, you know? Just makes the space. We have creative or creation, creation, you know? It's just gonna be a really cool space. So that's kind of the entire space and uh, it's just gonna be a little bit of time to kind of move in here and build benches and and get everything kind of set up in a way that's going to be functional. So the first kind of stage for this place is just going to be moving stuff out of the warehouse and uh, starting to get organized. And I'll start working on bikes in here once I have 220 and I can use my welder. That'll be kind of the, the main kicker. So once that happens, then we're going to be full time in here. But initially it's just going to be kind of getting the rest of it cleaned up, starting to decorate it and making it functional. So we've got a little ways to go, but it's looking really good already. And it's come a long way. So I'll definitely put in some clips of uh, kind of what it started out looking like. Had carpet in here and just didn't, didn't look that good. But it's been a bit of a process getting this place set up. But I am looking forward to the challenge. So definitely kind of sick to my stomach. It's a huge, huge endeavor to take on, but you know, I've, I've wanted this for so long. I am ready, you know. So hopefully I can, uh, I can get this place up and going. 
create some events and I will definitely let you guys know about it, you know, maybe have some kind of open house and eventually have, you know, like I said, movie nights, bike nights, big ride events, who knows? The, uh, the possibilities are limitless, so. Anyway, I hope you guys like this space and I hope you're, I hope you're even a quarter as excited for it as I am because I can't hardly sleep at night, but soon enough, we will be in here. As of now, this is a, what is it, Memorial Day weekend? Mm hmm Yeah, so it's Memorial Day weekend right now, and uh, we're pushing for June. I should be able to start moving some stuff in here really soon. I know I need to get on the uh, workbench build and just start getting stuff over here. So, anyway, here's to the future. But, hope you guys like this video. Hope to see you in the next one. Look for more updates on the new shop. That's it.